this series at this point should just be called Coffee with a Big Old Nerd. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Today, I would like to talk about Black Hammer, which is a comic series from Dark Horse Comics. Um, it is written by Jeff Lemire, it's illustrated by Dean Ornstrom and Rich Tomaso. It's now finished, uh, the main series, um, the main, or at least the main story arc. So there were four volumes. There was the first two volumes, and there was Age of Doom, which was um, sort of the conclusion to this trilogy. If you haven't read Black Hammer, I highly suggest you go read it. I, in a previous video, kind of talked about it. I kind of talked about the premise of it. In the description down below, I will link a video, um, which is sort of a trailer for the comic book, um, and it kind of gives you the main storyline, the main premise without spoiling anything. So go watch that if you're interested in this at all. Otherwise, I might spoil some things. I'll try not to, but um, Black Hammer, it's, it's such a fun book to begin with. The first two volumes are just such an interesting read. You've got this great mystery going on, and it's got all these like really interesting characters that you can tell sort of take inspiration from superhero tropes. I think my favorite character is probably um, Abraham Slam who is the sort of Captain America-esque, sort of like street brawler kind of character who you see in this comic has sort of reached um, middle age and how he is sort of dealing with that as a superhero. I really like the, the way the different narratives kind of interweave between the past um, and the present and how these superheroes are sort of dealing with their traumas and with their impact on a world that like doesn't remember them or doesn't care about them. It's Watchmen-esque in the way that it kind of comments on superheroes and superhero tropes and stuff, but it is much more lighthearted, I would say. It's it's less cynical about the impact of superheroes and about the impact of heroism. And I really just, I just love it. Um, it is gorgeous. The art is some of the best art I've seen in a comic book in a very long time. The writing is fabulous. I love that each of the characters kind of feels fully formed. They all feel like they are established characters in this world that you kind of enter into. This sort of golden age DC-esque world that, you know, even though you're just getting hints of it in the main series, you don't really get this fully fleshed out world. You kind of feel it and you know that feeling. And it's just, it's just incredible. My only criticism of the work and this is just criticism from a layman. I don't know anything about comic books. <laughs> I felt like at, by the end, it got a little too meta. Somewhere in the middle, you know, it kind of reached the nice high point of like hinting at this wider meta comic book theme. But towards the end, I think it, I think it took it just a little, a little too far and it sort of broke my immersion, which even though that was probably the point, I don't know. I. It kind of threw me a little bit, and I would have preferred if they kind of hinted at this wider concept without fully diving into it, but regardless of that, um, I really enjoyed it. I think it's a satisfying conclusion. I'm excited to read sort of all the spin-offs, and I'm excited to see where the rest of this universe goes, because it's such an interesting, fun universe, and I'm glad I got to explore it. It's thick as hell. It's probably, each of the volumes is, I don't know, I don't even know how many pages, but it's, it's thick. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys another time. Another place. Another dance floor.